I'm Noreen and welcome to my crafty corner. This week I'm going to show you how to make this really adorable little envelope card. It's made with one 12 by 12 sheet of paper, a little bit of tape, a little bit of ribbon, and any kind of embellishments that you like. This is what it looks like. So let's go see how we make this. Show you what this looks like it's really cute it's a little envelope card it's made with a one 12 by 12 sheet of double-sided paper that's the only thing you need to have double-sided paper this particular sheet is from last year's KN company pad and I'm going to use another sheet to do the demo with I have embellished it with just a little Michaels 3d heart and a doily and some ribbon this also has extra pockets on the back so you can stick whatever you like in there but these ribbons you can untie and you can make this closure however you like. You don't have to um, do the ribbon like I have. I just find that to be super easy. You can actually put Velcro, you can put a magnet in here, whatever you like. But I put a big old chocolate bar in here. You can use this kind. I got that one at the dollar store. You can use a big Hershey bar. You can use one of those nicer Ghirardelli bars or the Lindor bars. You know, whatever is your preference. Not a big deal but those will all fit in here. Sometimes you get those really cute and delicious gourmet chocolate bars you can get at any drugstore or grocery store or big box store, but that'll fit in here too. You don't have to put chocolate in here. You could put money, but don't put money in there for Valentine's Day because that's not very romantic. Um, you could actually make a little extra card to slip in there. I made these one year for Mother's Day and they were so beautiful and everybody really loved them. A gift card will go nicely in here if you put a little extra card in there with little sentiment or what have you. You could do a little stamping. You can embellish it however you like. But we're going to get started. You need one sheet of double-sided paper. And I'm going to use my scoring board today. You don't have to. Basically what you want to do is you want to fold it in half crossways on both sides. So I'm going to score it six inches this way. And then I'm going to turn it a quarter of a turn and I'm going to score it that way so that we're dividing it into quadrants. And then I'm going to flip it over. At this point you're going to want to decide which side of the paper that you're going to want up when you finish. I want this side up so we're going to fold into the center. I'm trying to get it as even as possible. Okay, Sometimes this paper, if you're not careful, it can go all wonky on you. Okay, so take your bone folder or popsicle stick and just run it along the crease so you get a nice sharp edge. Then flip it over. Okay, now I want you to take it so that the edges meet evenly. Make the corners nice and even. Take that bone folder or popsicle stick and press down in the center and then just gently wiggle your way out because we're working with several layers of paper and we want this to be crisp and we don't want that seam to, uh, to crack because sometimes on this thicker paper it's going to crack. Just go over all of your edges. All right, and remember, if you're a perfectionist, I tend to be a perfectionist Sometimes we just need to get over things, okay? Now, take these flaps and open it up. Kind of relax that crease a little bit. You can see how this is a little bit uneven? You can try and fix that at this point, but keep in mind you're going to... You might make a bigger mess than if you just left it alone and dealt with it. But I think we're okay. Yeah, we're really okay. Okay, now what you want to do is you want to put some adhesive here. Okay, these go really quick and I know a lot of ladies absolutely love making these because they're that quick and you can just decorate them and pump these out. These are great for Christmas when you want to give away um, gift cards. Just, it's super unique 
and it's a little bit something that no one's seen before. Okay, so now we've done that, right? So you're going to want to take this, press the two pieces together with the adhesive, okay? Now you will go back over with your popsicle stick or your bone folder and then just really define those creases once again because it, it's going to want to wrinkle up just a little bit. Now you get to have your fun. I'm going to go ahead and embellish this and I'm going to be back and I'm going to show you what it looks like. All right, I went ahead and I embellished this envelope card and I'll just take you over what I did. It's really, really simple. Um, you saw me fold it all together and then what I did was I just took some of this ticking ribbon and this is like old fashioned mattress ticking and um, I ran some tape. I ran score tape and this is the score tape. This is not score brand tape. I don't buy score brand tape because it's too expensive for my taste. And with as quickly as I go through a roll of this stuff, making a mini album or cards in general, um, this stuff can add up really fast. I actually buy this online for less than, hope. sometimes I can get it for a dollar roll, sometimes I can get it for just over a dollar roll. I think I paid a dollar and ten cents. This is the half inch tape. So I can put a link down below to where you can get this score tape. Um, and I can put a link to the eBay place where I bought this. Sometimes they don't have it. Um, I put a little piece of uh, washi tape there that just says made with love. And I wrapped it around to the front so it would just tie at the bottom. Now I put another one of these chocolate bars inside here. And then I put a little... Um, a little shipping tag that has loved printed on it. I thought you could write your own message there. And just for fun, I put some some Valentine themed circus uh, tickets just because I think they're cute. And uh, I think Molly is going to take these to school with her tomorrow for her friends. So um, what I did on the front was really simple. I outlined the front of the envelope flap with some red and white polka dot washi tape. And I had, this is a chalkboard gift tag that I got after Christmas at Michael's. It came in a pack of two. They were from the dollar bin. And I think after Christmas, I must have got them for half or 75% off. So um, I used the score tape to adhere that. And then I used a Michael's Recollections 3D Valentine sticker, which I embellished with three little red crystal heart stickers that I got from the dollar store. So this is a really cute little gift that Molly can give to one of her friends tomorrow. And this one as well. So that's, that's what we have. That is our little Valentine envelope card. This don't save it just for Valentine's Day, girls. Save, you know, bring this out whenever you need a quick card for any reason. You can just cut an easy uh, piece of cardstock to stick in there, stamp happy birthday, get well soon, with sympathy, whatever. And you can, um, for any occasion, stick a gift card in there to Starbucks or wherever your friend's favorite restaurant is. This is a nice way to give a gift. You don't have to worry about an envelope because the envelope is built right in. So... I hope you give these a try. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. So this is how you make really cute envelope cards. I hope you try them. I hope you love them. And until next time, I'll see ya.